After the introduction of ChatGPT, we've all seen companies make their own chatbots like Google Bard and Snapchat AI. But have you seen the AI made by Facebook? That's right, Facebook, or Meta as we're supposed to call it, recently created their own AI and named it after a petting zoo animal. Llamas. Or as I like to say, the camels of South America. It sounds a little silly, but Meta AI is a fierce competitor to ChatGPT. Stick around to see why. The first thing that you should know is that llamas in the wild can live up to 20 years. The second thing you should know is that Llama 2 is an acronym. It's not like they were low on names and just picked a funny animal. It's a long acronym though, so brace yourself. Large Language Model, Meta Artificial Intelligence. Yes, there is a random A they added, and I guess the I doesn't exist. Large Language Model is a huge AI system that can recognize, summarize, translate, and generate content. Thanks to the massive amounts of data it's been trained on, large language models like ChatGPT can mimic human intelligence. And then of course, the second part of the acronym is just Meta AI. So Llama 2 is an AI model made by Meta. But how? Llama 2 got super smart by learning from a massive pile of stuff from the internet. About 2 trillion pieces of text from places like Wikipedia. Each piece is like a puzzle piece that helps the AI understand what words mean and how they go together. For example, it figures that Apple and iPhone are buddies because they're always hanging out together, and they're different from the Apple that you eat. But here's the thing, the internet has some pretty weird stuff on it, so the creators of Llama 2 had to teach it how to be safe. They used a trick called reinforcement learning. Basically, they had real people rate how good or bad Llama 2's responses were, and the AI learned to be better from that feedback. The talking versions of Llama 2 also got special training to be good at having conversations, but remember, these AI models are like starting points. You can train Llama 2 to do all sorts of cool things that's pretty flexible, like one of those bendy tube guys. For example, if you want it to write something like Shakespeare, you give it a little hint, like a sentence or paragraph, and it does the rest, using what it learned from studying Shakespeare's writing style. It can look at how people talk and write, and then talk or write like them. This is great for businesses that want to help customers with chatbots, so you can get personalized answers without needing a real person there. Cool, right? Wrong, because pretty much all that stuff I just mentioned can, to a certain extent, also be done by ChatGPT. So what's the difference? When you take a look at the engine or the brain of Llama 2, there's a huge contrast from the one that powers ChatGPT. Llama 2 is open source, meaning that anybody can download and use the model for commercial and research purposes, whereas ChatGPT can only be used through a website and can't be downloaded or modified with some of its features even being locked behind a paywall. But Llama 2 is like an open source toolkit that anyone can grab for free and tweak to fit their own style. It's a game changer for developers and researchers who want to make their own chatbots or language helpers. So you've got the power to make it do what you want. Almost. Because Meta is a pretty established and reputable company that went through so much testing that it's actually safer than ChatGPT. So if you're looking for an AI model to help you browse the dark web, this ain't it. But keep watching if you like llamas. Llama 2 totally rocks when it comes to performance, especially compared to ChatGPT. In a test run by Zuckerberg's minions at Meta, they threw 4,000 different questions at both models to see who could give the best answers. And guess what? Llama 2 came out on top. It was a little bit better at giving helpful answers compared to ChatGPT. Even though the difference isn't huge, it's still a big deal because ChatGPT was already pretty good. Llama 2 scored 7% higher, and the version of Llama that's all about talking with people did even better. But that's not all. When you put up Llama 2 against other fancy models that aren't open source, or the ones that are pay to win, Llama 2 still shines. It outperforms those other models in stuff like reading, math, and thinking tasks, making it the champ overall. Although, this test might be a little biased because it was run by Meta. Like a soccer mom claiming that her child scored the most goals. Now what if you want to use this AI Llama for yourself? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to download it to your computer, and there's lots of different ways, but this is one of the most straightforward ways to do it. If you're not interested, just skip forward a few seconds. To start off, you'll need to install the tool called Conda. Just go to this website and hit download, then it will start installing. After it's done, open the setup tool. You won't need to change any settings or stuff like that, just keep hitting next until it's done downloading. After it's finished, go to your search bar and type Anaconda Prompt, then hit enter. And just like that, you've installed Llama 2. Go ahead and type your request now. Just kidding, this is where you enter a few commands to install the real thing. 
Type this command and hit enter to set up an environment where we can download Llama and other animals to your computer. Then activate the environment with this command. If I'm going too fast, feel free to pause at any time. When it's activated, it should now look like this. Now you can install another tool called PyTorch with this command. If you don't have any experience with this kind of stuff, it may look a little suspicious. But don't worry, this method is safe and has already been used by many individuals such as myself. And I don't have any viruses yet. Using this command will clone a repository to your computer and create a folder where we can set up the real thing. Go to that folder with this command. If you're still with me, congrats! You're only a few steps away from having an entire llama installed on your PC. There are a few requirements needed to set it up. Use this command to install them. It may take a few minutes, so use this time to think about what you'll have for breakfast tomorrow. Now that it's done, you can start a server for your pet llama to live in with this command. Once the server is up and running, you should see a link that looks like a shortened version of your IP address. Copy and paste that into your web browser. You're almost there now. Go to the model tab and click on this box on the right, then type in the name of the model. There are three different versions, each with more intense requirements when it comes to computer power. So if you're doing this on an ordinary PC, I'd recommend the smallest version, the bloke slash llama 27 b chat GPTQ. If you have a more powerful machine, you can install the 13B and 70B models, but those ones will take a lot longer to install. Now just hit download. This will also take a minute, so now you can think about what you'll have for lunch tomorrow. It's easy to overeat when you don't plan out your meals. When the anaconda window reaches 100%, you can hit reload at the top of this screen. In the drop down, select your model, and then set it to transformer and click load. After that's done, switch to the session tab and change the mode drop down to chat so you can actually talk to it. Apply and restart, then go to this tab and max out new tokens, then set temperature to zero. Finally, you can go to the text generation tab and input your prompt. For real this time. You've successfully installed Llama 2 to your computer, and now you have an awesome AI tool that is probably even more powerful than ChatGPT. But what else can it do? Because Llama 2 is next level, and thanks to its beefed up training data and parameter setups, this powerhouse can now churn out text that's scarily close to how humans talk, nailing it with insane precision that's even better than ChatGPT. You can put this wizardry to work, building other chatbots, virtual sidekicks, and top-notch customer support systems that chat with users just like real humans. Cooking up content can also be a total time drain, but Llama 2's got your back as your creative sidekick. Whip up top-notch articles, blog posts, and marketing magic in a snap. Customize content for any niche or target audience, keeping the same vibe and flair all the way through. Llama 2's got tons of cool settings to dial in its output, making it a breeze to match your preferred writing groove. But I still prefer making content myself. Me personally. Because it feels a little more human. Crushing language barriers is also no sweat for Llama 2. With its souped up training data, it lets you craft tools that connect people across different languages and cultures. Whether you're localizing websites or powering global communication, Llama 2's translation skills can grease the wheels for smooth interactions. But you know what might be cooler than Llama? AutoGPT, an AI tool that runs completely by itself.